Okay, the first thing we're looking at here is the white pin, and it is pointing out for you the tensor fascia anabrachii, which originates from the fascia covering the lateral side of the latissimus dorsi and inserts in the, into the olecranon. Um, its primary purpose is to extend the elbow. The next thing we're going to look at are the triceps brachii, which consist of four different heads. Here with the blue pin, we have the medial head, which originates on the crest of a lesser tubercle near the terrace major tuberosity and inserts into, into the olecranon. And it is action is also to extend the elbow. Um, and deep or below the medial head is actually the accessory head. You can see that red pin. And then if we turn it over, you can actually go under the lateral head there and you can push on the accessory head as well there. Um, going back to the red pin there to point it out again. Um, the accessory head originates on the neck of the humerus and inserts into the olecranon tuber. Um, and it's once again is to extend the elbow. Um, Alright and now below or deep to the um, tensor fascia Anabrachia is going to be your long head of the tricep where that green with the green pin is and it actually starts here and it's going to it's this whole muscle here and then wraps around and comes to this this is also part of your long head of the tricep which originates from the caudal border of the scapula and inserts into, into the olecranon tuber um, and its action is to extend the elbow once again and also flex the shoulder and then finally, we have our, where well, this yellow pin is, we have the lateral head of the tricep. And it originates on the tricipital line of the humerus and inserts into the olecranon tuber as well. And it's, um, once again, its action is to extend the elbow. Um, the last thing we're going to point out here is the anconius which if you reflect the lateral head of the tricep and you see this green pin here you can actually pick up the anconius um, it originates from the lateral supracondylar crest and the lateral and medial epicondyles of the humerus and inserts into the lateral surface of the proximal end of the ulna um, and its action is also to help extend the elbow.